Hello and welcome. Grids are like guiding principles. You may not always follow them, but you need them. The following steps will help you create your grid. In Architecture tab, on that button, you click on Grid, and then you select the kind of grid you want, whether it's a straight line, a curved line, a multi-segment grid. For now, we're going to create simple straight line grid. So you click on straight line and go ahead to create your grid. Click once, and then you click again, like a line, and the grid appears like a straight line. To create an angular grid, you click and you click at an angle to create the grid. I can just drag an image of uh, the sketch we made initially, and um, I'm just going to rotate this quickly. We have 5 meters and 4 meters offset of the grid. You can select your grid and copy by clicking on the copy button. I can select the multiple icon here to copy multiple times. I'm just going to move this 5 meters and then move this 4 meters and click on escape. So let's go ahead and create our horizontal grid. Type GR on your keyboard while in the drawing space. The icon for the grid will appear. You just click once and then you click again and the grids appear. So for us to continue creating the other grids, you can just change this first grid to A so that other grids can be numbered alphabetically. Double click on the number, change it to A and then go ahead to create your second grid which is 4.15 meters. Now when you are at the edge of the other grid, Temporal dimensions appear as with everything in Revit. So I, once I see this temporal dimension, I can type 4.150 and place it horizontally. And the next one is 4.2. So type in 4.2, place it horizontally. And the next one is, um, I think, 3.4. Good. Once well, I see the temporal dimension, type 3.4 and I'll place it horizontally and press escape. So I've created all my grids necessary for the project. Now when I go to my natural ground floor plan, the grids are there and they are in all the floor plans. Something to note here is that when you select one grid, you see two icons. That is a block and 3D term at the edge of each grid. The 3D term is there to unify edits to the grid on one view in all views. So let me say I extended this grid too much and I want to move it this way. And I select this other one and I move it this way. See, all the grids moves with it, but not just on this view, but on every other view. So if I go to my ground floor, you see the grids have adjusted themselves like that in all the whole floor. Select the grid under properties, click on edit type, and see parameters to edit the graphics of the grid. The first thing you want to edit there is the symbol, but I'm going to show you how to edit symbols and add more options to it. So you can change this circular heads to square, triangles and the rest by changing the symbols here or loading symbols into the project and changing them. The second thing is the center segment. If you look at closely at my center segment, it is faded. So you can actually change the, a lot of things about the center segment. You can make it a solid line. You can make it um, a different design from the edges. And so there are many, you can change also the colors of the center segment and the colors of the end segment. So for example now, I can make the colors of the end segment separate from the colors of the center segment. You could also determine the, the distances of the end segments and the center segments. So these are very important ways to edit your grid. Another thing you can talk about is also the grid heads. You can view the symbols at both ends or at one end. You can also view the, the symbol of the grid in elevation. Tip 2, how to edit grid heads in Revit. Select the grid, click on edit type and know the exact grid head symbol that is there. So this is OP grid head circle. Under the project browser, you scroll down to families and click on the plus sign beside families. Under that, you'll see the annotation symbols and you click on it. This is where you are able to edit properties of um, elements in the project. So we can scroll down and look for OP grid head circle. You can see it here. Select it, right click and say edit. When you click on edit, it's going to open a new space for you to edit the symbol of the grid head and the graphic design of the first of the grid head. So let me say I want to change that. I come to create 
come to line and say I need, let's say, a polygonal grid. And I'll say four sides. I'll choose the size as four. And here I'm going to just create this kind of grid. Let me just make it a square. And I choose to delete this. Once I've done this, and you can also edit the text by selecting it, clicking on edit type and edit in the properties of the text. Once I've done this, I click on load into project and it will ask me if it wants to override the existing version and its parameters. I'll click yes and it does that and you can see my grid symbols have changed. So I did that by just editing the grid head circle uh, symbol here. You can actually edit savers and import back into your project. Uh, for now, I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to undo. And I've showed you how to edit the grid heads and the grid uh, lines and end segments. So you can go ahead and create your grids. In the next lesson, we'll create our walls, doors, and windows. Thank you.